As a parent, it's not a list you want to see your child's school district on, but for the Skaneva Central, they're now one of five most fiscally stressed districts within the state. Now it's time to find a fix. Ben Dennis is live ahead of their Board of Educators meeting. Ben, break down the situation for us tonight. Angie, Skanevis residents are expected to voice their concerns during tonight's meeting as the school district faces an estimated $750,000 budget deficit ahead of the 2019-2020 school year. Superintendent Teresa Carlin says expenses were underestimated over the last four years. That's why the district tapped into their reserves for the current school year using around $350,000. Because of this, the district has a $0 fund balance. She said she currently can't answer how much taxes could in increase rather because next year's budget is still in the process of being drawn up. Carlin said the state comptroller's office did present suggestions how the district could account for the shortfall. And one of their suggestions, amid many suggestions, was to look at how we as a small district could share services with other small districts. Um, and those services could be administrators, uh, teachers, um, custodial staff, bus driver, any of those kinds of things. I mean, there's tons of services out there that you can share with another district. Um, our closest district, which is five miles down the road, is Worcester. Um, so the suggestion was to look into what possibilities we could have with Worcester, whether it be sharing services or going as far as saying, could we look into the possibility of doing a feasibility the suggestions murder have study? not yet been presented. The district's budget committee continues to analyze the 2019-2020 budget and what it might look like. Their next meeting, it's March 6th. For now, we'll send it back to Angie in the studio.